Imagine this, the Merc with a Mouth is smashing box office records yet again. Over the weekend, Disney and Marvel's Deadpool and Wolverine slammed past the $1 billion mark worldwide, becoming only the second R-rated film ever to do so. And guess what? It's charging full speed ahead, gunning for the title of the highest-grossing R-rated movie in history. Right now, Warner Brothers' Joker holds that crown with $1.078 billion from its 2019 run. But as of Sunday's estimates, Deadpool and Wolverine has already raked in a staggering $1.029 billion, and it's only just getting started. This film laid out the blueprint for a box office juggernaut, said Paul Durgarabedian, senior media analyst at Comscore. From its viral marketing, remember the popcorn bucket, to a spot-on release date, Ryan Reynolds' tireless promotion, and, of of course, a movie that both critics and fans have embraced wholeheartedly, every piece of the puzzle has fallen perfectly into place. And this is all just three weeks into its amazing run in theaters across the globe. This third solo outing for Ryan Reynolds as the regenerating degenerate has already posted the highest opening of any film released in 2024 and holds the record for the biggest debut of an R-rated film ever. But there's something special about this one, Deadpool and Wolverine is the first R-rated flick within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Remember, the first two Deadpool films were under the 20th Century Fox banner before Disney snapped up the studio in 2019. It's also the second Disney film this year to cross the billion-dollar threshold globally. Pixar's Inside Out 2 has already soared past $1.5 billion since its June release. And if analysts are on point, Deadpool and Wolverine won't be Disney's last billion-dollar baby of the year. Moana 2 is set to splash into theaters over Thanksgiving, and the buzz suggests it could join the billion-dollar club, too. These massive wins come at a crucial time for Disney which has seen a string of high-profile stumbles from its once-untouchable franchises. With the lowest opening and smallest haul for a Marvel film ever still fresh in memory, Disney is banking on its beloved franchises to rekindle the box office magic. And they're not holding back. During the D23 Expo, Disney unveiled an exciting slate of upcoming titles from all of its studios. We're talking major sequels like Toy Story 5, Zootopia 2, Frozen 3, and Incredibles 3, along with a slew of new Marvel titles including Captain America, Brave New World, Thunderbolts, The Fantastic Four, First Steps, Blade, Avengers, Doomsday, formerly Avengers, Kong Dynasty, and Avengers, Secret Wars. Plus, they gave us a sneak peek at The Mandalorian and Grogu, the first Star Wars film to hit the big screen since The Rise of Skywalker back in 2019. It's clear why Disney is diving back into these fan-favorite wells. The Toy Story franchise alone has pulled in $3.2 billion globally, while the Frozen films have frozen over $2.7 billion worldwide. The Incredibles films? A cool $1.8 billion, and Zootopia hit $1 billion during its 2016 run. And let's not forget the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's the highest-grossing film franchise of all time, raking in more than $30 billion worldwide since 2008. Star Wars isn't far behind, soaring past $10 billion in ticket sales since A New Hope hit theaters in 1977. The billion-dollar box office club might not be the sole measure of success, but it's still a clear symbol of a film's ability to capture the global zeitgeist, said Sean Robbins, founder and owner of Box Office Theory. Deadpool and Wolverine has done that in a resounding way, making Disney and Marvel's return to the 10-digit summit worth celebrating.